Joy Benedict continues our team coverage tonight with the story of that lifeguard saved from the surf by civilians. Joy, this video is dramatic too. Yeah, it is. I mean, all of this video was really traumatic and dramatic when you think about it. And that lifeguard wasn't the only one that was rescued. But first, I want to show you, you know, we all saw that big wave by now that came up off the ocean and washed ashore, forcing people to go away. Where it also went was right here into this hotel on the ocean. This is the inn on the beach. You can see the whole bottom level is boarded up. These were all glass doors, all smashed through. All the furniture inside was destroyed and tossed around because of that giant wave. Now take a look at this rescue video again coming from us from not too far from where we're standing right now. What you're seeing right now is a state parks lifeguard who happened to be on duty when a surfer went in by the pier. That lifeguard went in trying to rescue that person when a large wave took him out and knocked his buoy off his body. He then floated or swam uh, very aggressively a short ways down to where we are right now at Pier Palm Beach where he was rescued by those good Samaritans. We are told that that lifeguard was treated on the scene, but is at home recovering tonight, which is, of course, really good news. But there are several people who did suffer injuries because of that giant wave. I'm told they had eight injuries there. All of them were taken to local hospitals in all 13 rescues out of the ocean, in addition to that lifeguard that we saw video of there. So certainly a lot of very damaging video coming out of this area here today. And unfortunately, this event is is not over. So that big giant wave came in at around 9 o'clock this morning when they were at a high tide that was above 6 feet. We have a high tide again tonight at around 11 o'clock, but that one's only going to be around 3 feet. But again, tomorrow morning, the high tide once again is going to reach that 6-foot level. And when you combine that with these waves that are expected to hit 20 feet, well, that is very clearly a dangerous combination. Chauncey.